Hi, Laura. You had said that the picture edit can push you through a movie and the sound edit can pull you through. Can you right. elaborate on that? Um, I don't know. It's just a, I, I think that, like, if you listen to radio, there's something about, or, you know, uh, pieces on the radio, sound pieces on the radio, there's something about it where you're, it, it, it feels very, to me anyway, it just feels like a, a storytelling, and maybe it's just because it's language or whatever, but there's something about it that kind of dra draws you through. Um, and then if you take the sound off of any picture and you watch edits go by, it feels very kind of pushy, I guess is the word. Like you get to a cut and you go to the next cut. So I just, I, that's just an impression I have that the sound kind of pulls things across those cuts. So very often uh, the sound leads the cut. Yeah, Very exactly. Often in, in in editing, you'll 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 start the sound of the next scene before you cut to the next scene. Mm -hmm. So, in that sense, it's leading you. The sound and is it can, leading you. It can also in mixing, like you can sort of start to bring things down in anticipation of something else. So I think psychologically, you're getting prepared for something else to happen. We do you know tricks like that a lot, making holes in things and having other things come out of them sonically. Mm -hmm.